Welcome back to Thronebreaker. We are just outside of Aldersburg. Here's... Actually, that's not true at all. We're just out, 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 to the side of the bridge that's going to lead us to Aldersburg. Anyway, but right now we're taking a detour to go deal with some Nilf Guardians who've confiscated some supplies from nearby village. So let's do that. The Lyrians reached the outer defenses of the camp where the Nilf Guardians had taken Braithwaite's food stores. Rayla delivered her report. Three heavy infantry regiments, Nazari Arbalists, the warrior said. And I heard neighing, so they've cavalry as well. Meave said nothing, working it over in her head. The fate of the starving villagers weighed on her heart. But was it worth risking heavy losses to aid them? Well... The last time that that question was put to me, there were absolutely no consequences for taking the risk. So, in fact, I got a card, so. The Nilf Guardians keep food in storage and watch it rot while peasants perish from hunger. Will we allow this? The queen said, addressing her soldiers. cried the soldiers. I didn't think so. Meave said with a smile as she drew her weapon. Lyrians, attack! The battle for the granary. Meave wondered whether a single Nilf guardian felt shame for seizing food from a defenseless peasant, condemning him to starve slowly and painfully. Would he endure sleepless nights, plagued by nightmares? Perhaps turn away in disgust upon seeing his own reflection in a looking glass? She had her doubts. Alright, what's going on here? We got a bunch of palisades. Immer immobile, permanent resilience, and doomed. Okay, but strengthen all allies by one. But like, what are they? Oh, Castle Gate. I think I've run into something like this before. Every turn on turn start, boost a random ally by two and give it two armor. Death Wish, destroy all palisades and boost all enemies in hand, decking on the battlefield by two. Well, that's obnoxious. I wonder if we actually have to. It's not a puzzle battle, so I'm, I suppose in theory we don't actually have to take out the castle gate. Maybe we want to. I mean, I guess it's boosting something every turn anyway, so. <clears throat> All right, get out of your knickers. Get out of your war wagon, get out of your arbalist. Arbalist, arbalist. Hmm. That's a good one to have for sure. Early, we can start setting. We can set the gate on fire, essentially. Um, <laughs> I think I'm pretty happy with this. As as I have tried to do a couple times, Rayla can pull Xavier, and we can do good stuff with that. Yeah. Today, our swords shall taste imperial blood. Delicious. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I guess you could argue that I should set the back row on fire, but we can do that when we pull the other one. Ah. 101, 102, 103. Did it? Oh, he used his command to. Oh, it's only an order, and it doesn't have a cooldown. And he just used it. That seems really bad <laughs> to do that now. <laughs> Let's, let's see, do I want to play Rayla or a drummer? Probably Rayla. 
Yeah, probably Rayla. I'll fight to my last breath. Hundred and fifty two, hundred and fifty four. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull Xavier. My scars? No. They don't hurt. And Your heads. <laughs> oh, I just have to play a card. Oh, I didn't think about using the dark mirror on the castle gate. That seems pretty good. I mean, it'll just do armor damage, but still. Boost Knickers, which isn't really like the best unit to boost, but sure. Oh, life is mine now. All right, so. Unfortunately, now the gate is no longer the strongest unit on the field, so the mirror using like blacksmith into mirror wouldn't hit the hit the gate. Though if this guy gets boosted again, use it on him. <clears throat> but uh, let's just play the drummer, I guess. An army's a waste of time for one like me. And I'll go ahead and do this too. But right now, Ray is waiting for Reynard so she can get her charge back and then. Probably summon the Aratusa Adept. thing. Oh well, what can you do? Oh. No, it's not going to recharge Rayla. Ugh. All right, I'm just going to have to Company, forward march. I'm just going to have to Oh, well I can do this. But I can also decoy Reynard. Oh crap, I forgot about Ugh. Well, I guess if I charge him up enough, I can, <laughs> I can use the mirror on him. In fact, maybe that should be the plan. Left, right, left, right. Oh, I still have to play the card. Should I just decoy Reynard now? I should have played another drummer. I'll play another drummer. Again and again and again. Wise choice. Okay, so if I boost this guy again, then I can mirror him. If I if I pull a, an arbalist, I can actually hit his. Oh, it still won't quite kill him. That's unfortunate. Guess he'll get boosted first. 
<laughs> All right. A waste of time for one like me. Let's go ahead and use the mirror, I guess. A drop of glue, a bit of soldier, and a rivet or two, and he's good as new. Next turn, I think I'm going to end up viewing Runestone and Broadsword. Stop it. Okay, so if I do the rune stone, hit this guy by one. Uh, this guy by three. Ideally, I hit the castle gate too. So three, three, four, five. Go maybe just on this guy. He's annoying, and I want him to die. Unfortunately, I don't have any arbalists out to fire uh, like loyalty bullets at these guys. But oh well. Wait, oh, that counts as an order? Crap. <laughs> Dang it! Uh, I should probably use this guy's thing, too. Man, these things are annoying. Alright. I was gonna do that, I should have done it first, but oh well. which one I hit. Actually, maybe I should have shot the gate. Race me to the great sun! Holy crap, I wish I'd kept the black mirror. Oh my god. Oh, I could decoy the blacksmith. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, yeah, I, I've got to do that. That's just too good. Like that's that's a that's a game-winning move right there. Oh no, wait. That doesn't do what I think it does. It just does 15-15. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I was thinking it's like swap power. Whatever. It's still going to be good, but All right, so I can kill the one on the right, which will also damage this guy. So that's good. I'm a monster. Unfortunately, this row is full. Oh, boost all enemies! I'm an idiot. <laughs> I should read this. 
Yeah, so I definitely want to take out the gate, um, but unfortunately I've filled the row. Um, I can summon... What can I summon? R2's adepts. Yeah. Yeah, you wish, yeah. It doesn't, surely it doesn't go in as an 18, right? Uh, that would be pretty nuts. I can't imagine that it does. Yeah, I also regret not decoying Reynard because I could have done more of a listing. But. Alright, let's just. Play a drummer. Left, right, left, right. Alright, so we need to use this. I really hope I don't draw a... Whatchamacallit? Actually, no. I should use Rayla's first for that exact reason. I think here I just hit the gate. Lyria! And then I can play the horn and that'll kill the gate. Woo! 170. <laughs> I don't think I can set up a good broadsword, unfortunately. I'm also... Uh, I'm two cards away from killing, so I should... I should probably go with the horn again. That is perfectly usable. Although I could go with the rune stone. I do like one, two, three, four. Yeah, actually, let's do that. Only the guys in the only the guys in the front fire. I don't quite understand that, but oh come on! Well, I don't think it's gonna matter anyway. I mean, obviously it's gonna matter anyway. Your grace, the battle's won. We've secured the storehouses. Neve managed to rout the Nilfgaardian troops and regain the stolen supplies. However, the Queen's good humor faded soon after the battle. Her soldiers began loudly demanding she not return to the village, but keep the food for her troops. We've nigh empty bellies too, my lady. And whatever we give them, the black-clad bastards will just steal right back. 
better to strengthen our own army than the enemy's. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, there's actually a middle option. Interesting. Well... <clears throat> I mean, this is just... Like, what was even the point? But this... I, I kind of like this option. It's like, hey, we, we actually do need stuff, but we fought to give you... Ba uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the middle road. I don't know if it's a good idea. Easy but. it would have been to take offense at the soldier's words, to accuse him of greed. But his words held much merit. Meave's army had no less need for the food than the peasants, and in war-ravaged Edern there were few chances to replenish their supplies. After a moment's hesitation, the queen announced her decision. We shall divide the food. Half we return to the peasants, half we keep for ourselves. Hey, we got wood. Yay. And we didn't even have the pe peasants complaining about it. I'm surprised. Usually they put something in there like that to make you feel bad about yourself. I mean, they might still say something when we walk by. So apparently we've got more stuff we can do in here. I don't know that I want to do any of it. Recruit cap doesn't matter. I don't want to spend wood to gain gold. That's just not a good trade-off. I probably shouldn't have even done this one. Yeah. Alright. I don't know when we unlock the ability to get better stuff, but... Oh, wait. Here we go. They're going to be like, Hey, you! At first, the peasants were glad to see the soldiers. But their joy quickly turned to anger when they found Meave had decided to return only half the recovered supplies. And for a queen to stoop so low, so low, robbing good folk, starving good folk. Ugh. Meave refused to argue with the villagers. Yes, justice was on their side. But in times of war, justice counts for little. <laughs> Harsh. A thief who takes half your coin is just as much a thief as one who takes it all. That's true. Remember these words well. A thief who takes half your coin is just as much a thief as one who takes it all. <laughs> it's protection money. Meave's mouth reared and flattened its ears, spooked for no visible cause. Trusting in animal instinct, Meave jumped to the ground and felt tremors under her boots. At first, they were faint, barely palpable. Then grew stronger and stronger. What's going on? Meave cried. Why does the earth tremble? Before anyone could respond, a scout from the forward guard let out a terrified cry. A moment later, snap trees crashed down around them, and out of the woods came a 30-foot-tall stone giant. Gods, whispered the queen. What is that? A golem, Isbel whispered back. Favorite servant of Nilfgaardian mages. As if to confirm his words, soldiers marched out from behind the giant, clad in heavy black plate. Their leader, however, wore but a light tunic, and his hands glowed with a strange blue light. Dithen Quan Illyrian! He shouted, giving the order to attack. Gwar and Ard Feyin! Alrighty then. The first Nilfgaard... Oh, the Colossus of Nazir. Nazir? The first Nilfgaardian invasion was eventually repelled due in part to the aid of mages and sorceresses, who tilted the scales in the North's favor. In preparation for the next war, the Emperor devoted greater resources to Nilfgaard's own school of magic in order to diminish the Nordling's advantage. Before long, new recruits began to appear in the Imperial Army's ranks, Recruits who stood over a dozen feet tall serving, served with unwavering obedience and were made of solid rock. Alright. Optionally eliminate Albrick. Is 
Is there really going to be a 50 on the field? Well, not initially, at least. He's only got three cards. This is the kind of battle where you probably just need big numbers more than anything, but... Basically, although actually the horn might not be amazing, but ah, it's probably fine. Yeah, okay. So let's start with um I think we, what we want to do is play the mirror several times, <clears throat> which means we want to summon the. We want to get the, play the Aratusa adept, and we want to play the blacksmith, and then we want to have the Aratusa adept adept create more blacksmiths, and then pull them out with Black Rayla, basically. Um, so. Because I don't have any of those cards available right now, um, what's the best way to do this? I need to get something onto the field so that I can play the mirror first, so that I can then pull the the blacksmith with Rayla. Which means I think I start with maybe I should just start with the drummer in case left, something right, crazy left, happens. Left, right. The last two cards. I live to serve. Adult! Mom, break the mage's spell, and the golem's power will wane to naught. Okay. Every turn on turn start damage the highest enemy unit by the power of the lowest unit in the opponent's hand. Okay. So he's going to take four damage. That's not ideal. Um, we can still use the mirror to put some serious damage on this guy. Um... So let's do that. And we might as well get started on our broadsword count now, too, so... Oh, right. <sighs> Never mind. Hi, Nickers. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm still gonna do this just to get started on the, the cooldown. Alright, well, we'll have to play it the mirror two more times before it actually hits this guy. Unfortunately, I didn't account for that. What did that do? Boost Alberic and the lowest enemy in your opponent's hand by one, then spawn a base copy of this card. Okay. Interesting. So now we play Rayla. The Dev Event. The Mage. Kill the Mage. Yeah, or I'm working on it. All right. Now we summon the blacksmith. A drop of glue fits a soldier in a rivet or two, and it's good as new. All right. So now, oh, it it gets doomed. Crap. We can't. Okay. Bad plan is bad. Dang it. <laughs> Yeah. Nah. 
Get it to work. Alright, what else do we want to pull out? Oh, the fire wouldn't be a bad idea. Our Atuza Adapt wants to just do Arbalests. Um, which we need to have one before we can do that. So let's just pull something. Sure. Give me a time. And then... We'll pull the Adapt, as mentioned. Margarita told us of this. Oh, what was the other thing I wanted to pull out? Oh, the fire guy. I smell a leak. So, but I do want to take him out. Um, all right, so I guess I could decoy the adept and put even more arbalists in. Though, then the question is like, how? What am I? So I can potentially pull three more out with Rayla specifically without needing to play drummers, which means I have more space to work with. Right now I have nine out of 18, so I can play up to nine more cards. Right now I have four Arbalests. I mean, four ought to be enough to kill him, actually, anyway. So I'm not gonna maybe worry quite as much about specifics on that. Again, Just play one again, of these guys. Again. Although I don't want to pull, I don't want to pull war wagons, I guess. But I have enough room to pull like a war wagon, so maybe it doesn't matter. Oh. You mad? Don't shake that. Yeah. And I guess I could just do Reynard now. That's probably better. We must trust each other. Oh, I've got my ability up. And yeah, we'll go ahead. Ah. Carny battles. Hungry like a wolf. Is that row full? Yep, it sure is. Turn, we just kill him with the rune stone or the horn or whatever. Oh, did he zap one of it these works. guys? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Raising her shield against the whistling rain of arrows, Meave fought her way towards the Nilfgaardian mage leading the attack. At close quarters, Magic Arcana would stand no chance against a well swung blade. Meath roared, delivering a powerful blow. Her blade severed the mage's aorta, and drowning in his own blood, he fell to the ground. He choked out by way of last words. Whatever then that means. the blue aura coming from his hands flickered out, and the stone giant thundered to the ground in pieces. When the dust of the battle had settled, the queen ordered her men to search the Nilfgaardian camp. In the mage's tent, they found a rare instrument used to communicate at a distance, a megascope. 
The crystals encrusted in its brass frame were still warm, meaning it had recently been used to conduct a conversation. The burning question was, with whom? Isbel! yelled the queen. The mage dutifully came closer. This device, could you activate it? Yes, your grace. But are you sure? I am. Get to work. Isbel nodded, <laughs> then began calibrating the magic device. Finally, something clicked. A light flickered on, and before Meave's eyes appeared the outline of a Nilfgaardian general. Hmm. Speak common, please. I know not your tongue. Oh, forgive me. I thought I spoke to someone else. Good to see you in good health, Queen. Or ex-Queen, I suppose, would be the more apt title. Instead of fretting so much over my title, give yours. Of course. Where are my manners? Duke Adel Ebdahi, Grand Chancellor, Commander of Army Group East. I believe... You've heard of me. <laughs> I want to say this, even though I totally have. <laughs> I'll be honest. Of course I have. You were the coward who, instead of facing me himself, employed traitors to do his bidding. Mm. What you call cowardice, I call diplomacy. And you must admit this diplomacy has proven quite successful. First Lyria, then Rosberg, and Southern Edern, all taken without any real losses. Enjoy it while you can. Easy victories are short-lived. Is that what you think? I'm afraid you're in for an unpleasant surprise. Is that a threat? <laughs> no. A simple prediction. Enough of this. Why use this megascope? What is it you want? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to see the man who's butchering Edern. The man responsible for the deaths of thousands of women Elders and children. Then your desire has been satisfied. It was I who gave the order to cleanse this land of unwanted elements, to prepare it for settlement, for. Unwanted elements? Those are living folk you speak of. If you were to look at this war in historical perspective, considering the wider geopolitical context, <laughs> Forget it. It's impossible for you to grasp. Farewell, your majesty. Or rather, till next time. For there will be a next time, I assure you. A quiet fell over the tent. The queen stepped outside, squinted her eyes against the glare of the burning fields, and swore to herself that when she did see Grand Chancellor Adel F. Dahi again, he would be a whole head shorter. Hmm. <laughs> well, that was pretty good establishment of villain, I will say. Oh! Alzer's Thunder. That would have been useful in the last battle, assuming it does something similar to what it did during the beta and uh, in Witcher 3, which is basically just zap something for big damage. <clears throat> Damage a unit by 10 and, ad and units adjacent to it by 5. Yeah. Like, that's... That's really good. Um... It... I mean... It's obviously... You know, the raw value of it is much higher than the runestone. Granted... It doesn't have um, the like 
com combo with the broadsword thing. I mean, it could in theory, like it, if it happens to line up, but it's, it's a lot less likely to. But um, I mean, admittedly, like how much mileage do I get out of this in practice? I don't know. I'm I'm inclined to say that I should replace one of these two with this thing. Like it's just really, really good. Twenty damage. Uh, 20 damage is obviously more than the Dark Mirror does. The Dark Mirror, in theory, can be a 30-point swing in practice. Um, well, I mean, I guess... Yeah, it, well, in practice, it, it's limited based on, you know, where those the highest unit and the lowest units are located. <clears throat> but, I mean, the fact that I tend to have a lot of, like little guys from the war wagons and not a lot of big guys because that isn't how my deck works does make this thing better i'm i'm thinking the runestone it's just like i don't know I, I maybe i should even like change which weapon i'm using just because it's got such a long cooldown and like maybe i should go back to this thing and, like at least i could do it at, like every two turns. It's just, like, pretty good. Triggering the loyal abilities is nice. The armor is whatever. Um, I mean, it's good with the Wagenberg, but I haven't been using that anyway. I actually wonder if I should bring the Wagenberg back, though, now that I have like the Rayla Xavier stuff to pull stuff out of my deck that isn't blitz. I mean, I, I guess I've just been kind of getting lucky in pulling Rayla consistently the last couple of games. I shouldn't necessarily expect that to always happen. Um, well, I did say I wanted to make more of these two. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out the runestone, I think at this thing, and I did say I wanted to make more Aratusa adepts. So let's do that. Where where are those? Here we go. I think two is a reasonable number. I don't think I need more than that. Um... Yeah, I feel like the War Wagon is like overkill for the Arbalest combos, so I think what I might actually do is just take both of the War Wagons out. Maybe I will put a Wagonberg back in. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. All destroyed. As if nobody lifted a finger against the Milk Guardian. Took but one damned week, and the army was shattered to bits and pieces. Notice board. Fight some Milk Guardians there. Bunch of stuff down here. All right, I guess let's just go ahead and, or well, let's grab this thing, and then let's go ahead and fight these guys. Imperial reconnaissance. Readying herself for her next clash with Nilfgaardian forces, Meave recalled lessons she received as a young girl about the continent's geography. My young lady, the Nilfgaardian Empire's domain is large enough to contain the kingdom of Lyria not once, not twice, but three, 30 times over, her tutor explained. Once explained. 30, the queen sighed. How can I hope to defeat this colossus? Is such a feat even possible? Oh. 
All right. Damage an enemy by the number of your allied units. Oh, I didn't change the broadsword out if I wanted to do that to combo with the Wagenberg. I should do that. Yeah, if I'm going to have that in here anyway. Um, starting with one of these guys in hand seems fine. Two adepts also seems fine. Maybe I should, actually, maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I should mulligan the adepts in hopes of getting like, well, Rayla can pull Xavier too, I guess. But I'll mulligan one adept. Is it, do I just always get all my trinkets? Is that how that works? Like, I, it's, it seems like I do. Um... Yeah, this seems reasonable. Yeah, it seems like I just get them every time. I don't, I don't think that there was any sort of rule on those lines, but maybe there is. Must be an important lesson in this. But what? Really? Okay, man. Let's do... A bomber, probably. Yeah, let's just get that this fire damage hurt. going as soon as possible. 101, 102, 103. All right, probably one... to just pull for the other one. Again and again and again. <clears throat> oh, I guess I could, might as well use my broadsword now since I've got multiple targets. Ah! Maybe this guy will die before he gets the chance to fire off his boost ability. I mean, in theory, I could make sure of that, but eh. Order! Nope. Dang it. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this pro well. Hmm. Oh, why didn't I play Rayla? That was who I should have played. I could fire at these guys now. Let's do this first. Okay, so we can do six damage. I'll do that. Do it to this guy and then fire the Wagenberg. I can wipe this row. That seems solid. I'm a monster. Especially since he's about to use his ability. So wiping that seems good. He passed. I guess that makes sense. Um, maybe I should decoy Rayla. It's been so long since I'd fought a multi-run battle, I wasn't really thinking about it. So 
Does the fire stay down across rounds? I'm not actually sure. Looks like not. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I drew my other one, though. Okay. Let's go ahead and fire up on the back row again. So that's the reason to have multiple of these guys. Uh, yeah, you see, even when I was building my deck, I wasn't thinking about multiple rounds and the reason that you might want more than one or two of these guys. I want to do... How many drummers do I have left in my deck? Three drummers and only one Arbalist? What? I haven't played that many Arbalists. I'm confused. Oh, this is only showing seven of my cards. Okay, I don't... I don't know what that's about, but... I'm gonna play some add-ups is the point. <sighs> now to ever pay off these school loans. Life is mine now. As you wish, my lady. And I think I actually Well, I do have Rayla to pull out stuff. Hmm. Rayla can pull Xavier. And maybe I actually want to add a couple bombers. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, uh, maybe I want to fire this thing too, just to like... Yeah, we'll do that. I'm gonna pass next turn anyway, in all probability. Oh, he's it's got a tie, so that's nice. He has to actually still play a card if he wants to pass me. Oh, I guess he doesn't. What? Why did those just boost themselves? Every turn on turn start. Okay. Thing. Wise choice. Enough to shoot you. Draw your way. Alright, so we play Rayla, we play Xavier, and then we summon a bunch of crap. Ah, stop that. What are we drawing out? Well, one thing we're drawing out is fire dudes. So let's go ahead and do that now. Catch! Fear not. We shall achieve our goal. Um, I don't think there's any reason to summon anything else this turn. I'm going to want to, of the two charges left, one of them is going to go to Reynard, which is going to get me back a charge, and then one of them is probably the Blacksmith. So, oh, I don't have, oh, I could... I could do, you get use the blacksmith on the decoy. That'd be pretty good. But okay. So. 
so... But now we're playing a drummer. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Oh, I guess... I guess I'll go ahead and do this, too. Alright, so there's nothing I'm sad to summon with the drummer, so I'll go ahead and do that. Another drummer. Okay. So back here. Left, right, left, right. Um Bowser's Thunder would be pretty good here, especially since he's about to get his, whatchamacallit. The mirror isn't full value, so I think I'd rather play the Thunder. He's still going to hit something for three damage, but that's not enough to kill anything. Um, so do I want to use one of Rayla's summons? Thunder doesn't make sense yet, so I don't want to pull the blacksmith yet. Uh, I mean, I could pull the blacksmith for decoy, but I don't want to decoy yet either, so... Just don't turn Oh, he's going to do four damage. Still not enough to kill anything. Yes. Ow. All right, once again, no sad drummer pulls, I don't think. Again and again and again. And... Here is pretty bad right now. I could just play an Arbalist. Oh wow, killing killing that Alba Pikeman is really strong, potentially. Ah, uh, but I can't do it. If I stacked more, I was worried about like having enough room to play all these Arbalists, but. Maybe just play Leary and Horn. Wipe these two. Get these into range where they do go down. Yeah, all right. Nice. Rip three cards. Owned. Oh, give them immune. But immune just means they can't be targeted. It doesn't mean they can't be damaged. So, so we could move this guy forward, play an Arbalist. One bolt. Now he's got six. Now we can do our loyalty thing. Wait, why did that not? Ah, what? 
Just because they can't be targeted. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. Whatever. All right. Do I want to go ahead and... I guess I wouldn't. it wouldn't be a bad thing to pull Reynard at this point. Well, another army's a waste of time too. for one like me. My prescription, a bit of bloodletting. <laughs> that was a weak, weak, weak play. Discipline shall bring us victory. Give me a time. It doesn't really matter what I do. But just pop that guy. Abolista, your command. Oh. I smell a leak. Forgot about you. I'm a monster. Is just an oh, it's the that guy, yeah. Um, wait, so I can play him for decoy, I guess. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I think I'm doing all right here. Mm, a highly curious case. Yeah, or not bother. <laughs> I won, just barely, but I did it. Ugh, okay. From Sergeant Moirer Glyph. To Duke Ardal Ape Dahi, Grand Chancellor, Commander of Army Group East. Your Excellency, your orders have been fulfilled. We requisitioned over 30 head of cattle from the local population, slaughtered them, and left them under the sun. Once the carcasses have reached the appropriate level of rot, as determined by the medics of Vic Vicovaro, they shall be sent to the front for art the artillery division. Oh my god. That's so messed up. Alright, so I have passed the hour mark, so I'm just gonna try to grab any non-fighting stuff that I can. I know there's loot down here, and then call it an episode. Not sure if that's the loot it was referring to. I guess it is. All right. Yep. So we're good here. Next time we got some puzzles, and then we'll continue on our way to Aldersburg. Till then.